When John the Baptist appeared to preach repentance, he saw many people coming to be baptized by him. He was astonished and said, You poisonous snakes! Who showed you how to flee from God's coming anger? Luke chapter 3 verse 7. Things we learn today will be useful tomorrow. For we make judgments by the information we have, either good or bad. In the case of God's coming anger, this information is available to all. We don't know that day, but right now, we can make a better choice and avoid the anger and be on the side of peace. God is giving grace today to all, and He wants people to accept His grace and live with Him in peace and prosperity. We will use tomorrow everything we have learned today, we will do tomorrow everything we have learned to do today. This is how things work, driving, swimming, speaking, dancing, writing, and the like. It is often said that we don't know what tomorrow might bring, but we always have a choice to make preparations and make plans. No one knows what tomorrow will bring, but we have today, today we can learn skills that will be useful tomorrow. We can purchase an umbrella and be ready for the rain. We can take Spanish lessons to be ready for when we go to Spain. Education systems have been designed and built around the knowledge that tomorrow is coming, and people must be educated. Generally, educated folks tend to show success in their respective fields, medical doctors, lawyers, financiers, field engineers, and so on. Naturally speaking, no one becomes a biologist within a day. It is a process that takes time and effort to accomplish. The interesting things to notice here are the choices that one has to make and the skills that are acquired daily during the process. If it is so done in the natural realm, how much more in the spirit? The Lord said to the prophet Moses to write the things he told him in a book. The Lord told Joshua to keep reading that book to always to have success Joshua 1. For with good information, we can predict what is coming, the weathermen always do it. They look at the sky and analyze the information gathered although they are always wrong. We saw in the preceding chapter that the voice of God is shouting, well, it is shouting good news. It is shouting good information that we can use to predict what is coming. The Lord says, I will instruct you. I will teach you the way that you should go. I will advise you as my eyes watch over you, slams 32 to 8. All should desire this lesson of God. For everything we do, will determine our success or failure in life. And the things we do are things we learn to do, things we practiced. Therefore, with a good lesson comes good actions, and with good actions come good rewards. For everyone will eat the fruit of his or her labor. Good lessons and practice make perfect. God, time and choices. You still have a choice to make. Hashtag God time choices. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video like this.